I went back to that house because I watched another one of Froggy Flip's videos and had to go pick up some more stuff. So I'm going to cover with you $20 crate full of more vintage toys that have already made some really great money. So let's jump into that. Hey there, by the way, my name is Josh, and on this channel, we love showing you things that you can go out and find in different places like thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, storage units, and even, in this case, on Facebook Marketplace. Um, and we just sell these things on platforms like eBay, Macari, or uh, right back on Facebook Marketplace. And in this video, it's kind of like a part two because in our previous video, we showed that we found this Facebook Marketplace deal where this guy had cleaned out an attic and found all these 80s and 90s vintage toys. And I was just kind of mind blown. Um, we found some incredible stuff, some Pokemon cards, some He-Man figures, and the Gray Skull Castle. And also, I think he's going to be our new channel mascot, Max. I'll put a photo of him right here. He's sitting in the floor behind me. Uh, he's got to get cleaned up. But we found some incredible stuff. I mean, close to $1,000 worth of stuff. I paid about 70, yeah, it was right at $70 for all of that. But I remember I left some stuff there behind. I didn't really know about it. The great thing about looking at other videos, I was watching another one of Froggy Flip's videos and he stated something about like slot cars and another like toy line that he was learning about. And I said, oh my goodness, I saw some of those. Let me see if this guy still has any available. He says, yes, come on by. So I drove back out there after dinner about 7.45, spent another $20, but found these incredible pieces. So the way that I'm going to kind of go through them, I'm going to show you, and they're going to be in one of three categories. I have 95% of it all listed. I will show you whether it's just listed, whether it already has watchers on it, because a ton of it already does. And actually a lot more has already sold so we'll be able to kind of update you on how fast this stuff is moving how collectible it is and how valuable this stuff is one of the big categories of uh, toys that I picked up were advanced dungeon and dragons so right here I have this pretty awesome looking horse it's got this cool harness yes there are legs there that's because you could take another figure and drop him right in here and it's got a little opening where the figure could stand in there and it looks like he's riding the horse. This I listed for $29.97 and it already has a watch on it, I believe. Yeah, it has one, no, no, sorry. It has two watchers on it already and this stuff has not been listed for even a week. One of the pieces that, that definitely stood out because as I scrolled, through all the figures, I saw this one. And if you see this, how could you not remember it? So it has this weird beak. I can't remember his name, but I think I listed him right at like $25 to $30. Um, I don't think he has any watchers yet, but this was one of the most regularly uh, sold pieces from that series. So another good pickup. And like, like I said, $20 for all of this. Some more advanced Dungeon and Dragons. These two like elven fighters, bow and arrow and the swords, I listed these for $20 uh, plus shipping. Another lot of two I just got an offer on actually are these two frogs. All of these are marked, I think 1983. Um, these I just got an offer of like $10, uh, but I'm really holding out because I think there's only one other listing of these two figures. It's always fun when you start a video. These were two more that I had watchers on, but they actually just sold for $20 plus shipping. So this for sale right here that you're seeing pays for the whole lot, but don't worry, we have made a ton of money off this $20 investment. Those were some of the ones that had the kind of the rarest availability or I could find very recent sold comps for. So the rest of the figures I ended up, here's a few here of like the wizards, um, some trolls. I did a large lot of I think 10 pieces 
uh, right around a hundred dollars with best offer on I haven't had any bites yet but um, that was ten more pieces that I got out of there that could potentially hey I'm in the profit I'll take offers on it but advanced Dungeon and Dragons uh, seems to be a little more knowledge is coming out that people are learning that they had a figure line made in the 80s. Last video, I don't even know if I showed him, but this is Jack Blackstar. So I already had him listed. He has a few watchers on him already, but I had these guys in the last video and you can see their similarities to some of the Masters of the Universe characters. This line was supposedly what inspired He-Man and all of that. John Blackstar, astronaut. Trapped on the planet Sagar, Blackstar is rescued by the tiny Trobit people. In turn, he joins their fight for freedom against the cruel overlord. But I remember seeing these guys, all of these little gremlins and this crazy looking guy here. So I listed these two, those gremlins and this long armed guy for $50 as a set plus shipping and it already has a watcher on it as well. But two that I were just, I knew I had to go back and I was so surprised were these two Trobits, okay? These two little pink guys here. Uh, I believe this is Tara. I'm not going to remember this one's name with the really big ears. But what's important is these sell incredibly fast. These sold within an hour of listing. This one went for $30 plus shipping. This one went for $40 plus shipping to the same buyer. Uh, these are also from Black Star. I've seen a few of these still floating around new in the package going for a hundred to two hundred dollars a piece so once again black star if you ever see anything of it advanced dungeon and dragons some really good toys to pick up for the next part it will be way easier for you to see everything this way because they're still in the case but slot cars if you don't know what a slot car is they have they run on the little tracks so they have the little strips on here um they're like you know electrically run and then they have this little dial here that stays in the middle that keeps them on there i completely have just had my mind blown learning about some of these things so i'll quickly kind of go down the line this is the number three good wrench uh truck series here that one is listed at $50. It has two watchers on it already. And next we have here the Hot Wheels truck. Same thing from the truck series. This one has already sold for $20 plus shipping. Next we have the Sears Die Hard racing truck listed for $40 with seven watchers. Yes, it's been listed for, I think, four days. Next, Dale Earnhardt. You know him. This one listed for $50. Has a watcher on him. Jeff Gordon here, number 24. I listed for $25. I got an offer of $20 plus shipping. And he has actually already sold. So I want to make sure I pull these solds out of here to get them packed up. And then we have the Hot Wheels number 44 car listed for $30 and it has a watch on it as well, but it gets even better because I have more. So going down the list, I'm going to pull out what has sold already first. This blue Corvette has sold for $50 plus shipping the BMW turbo has sold for $25 plus shipping the green Dodge Vipers this was probably the newer or new newest one looking at the body style 
This one went for $27 plus shipping. Then, I was looking for these and forgot I'd already pulled them. I did these six cars and a lot, and I listed them for $80, but I got an offer of $72 plus shipping, and I accepted that offer, so these six cars went for $72. So just moving these here, that's how many slot cars we have sold just in the last couple days, which is pretty incredible. But with the ones that I still have here, we still have plenty of watchers. I think this one's listed for 50. I got an offer for 30, um, didn't accept it. Doesn't show any active watchers on it, but I am getting offers for these. I'm gonna kind of hold out unless they're within, you know, $5 or that, that kind of shipping range. Um, but kind of looking at some of these, a very notable one, the same Corvette, it's the 57 body style with the two-tone paint. I listed this, kind of shot in the dark, $90, and it has two watchers on it. Um, this nice number seven Corvette is listed for $50. It has four watchers on it. This turquoise Mustang hardtop. I listed for $99. It has a watcher. This is just a body uh, for one. I It has a little bit of damage on the front, but this body style is apparently pretty desirable. I listed it for $30. It has five watchers on it. Are you, are you seeing a trend on how well this stuff will do? This Dodge Charger here listed for 60. It has a watcher on it. I think the only other one that doesn't have a watcher was this Porsche. I think we listed that one for 70. Oh, that number six Mustang, I think we listed that one for about $40. But yeah, as you're seeing this and what this will bring in, plus what this has already sold, slot cars are pretty impressive. I think I still have one more that I was just surprised that this was a slot car. This is the Jeff Gordon car hauler. Yes, it goes on the track as well. This went for $40 plus shipping. This is just another small train piece that goes on there. It doesn't go for much, but I'll still get it listed as well. It was the only one that was like under $10. So there you have it, just some a few small toys, but let me give you the numbers just on what I was able to show you. You saw some of the sold, some of the watchers, and I, I gotta remember, I gotta move $20 over from the watcher area to the sales area. So just in sales on what we paid $20 for uh, a few days ago, we have made $344. Now all of those had paid shipping, they weren't free shipping, so that will counterbalance itself, and of course there are fees and things such as that but even after it's all said and done, that is incredible profit. But what we just have watchers on, so not even the stuff that could sell down the road that people haven't maybe come across yet. Just in what we have watchers on, we have 560 more dollars of potential sales on a $20 bill investment. That's why it's great. Just always check all of your sourcing avenues because you never know. And the big factor, I, I, he was so awesome. He watched the last video, but learning from other great resellers. There's so many great ones here on YouTube that you can learn a new product. I love vintage toys. I would have never thought slot cars had this kind of collectability and this great of a sell-through rate, especially when you can find rare vintage ones. So, hey, just wanted to bring you that part two. And just to say thanks once again for just tuning in and sharing so much love to, to me and my family here on this channel. You guys are such an inspiration. At this point in time, we are so very close to 2,000 subscribers. Just another mini milestone in this incredible YouTube journey that we've been on. So hope you found something valuable, you learned something new, and maybe you just had a little fun looking at some stuff that you haven't seen in a long time or you haven't seen ever before. So. Thanks for stopping by. Be sure to give this video a like and tune back in 
for the next fun video here at Flips, Finds, and Fun. So go out there and make the world a better place with a sale and a smile, and we'll see you again real soon. Bye, everybody. Talk to you later.